All right, so my buddy let me take his 2015 Yamaha R3 out for a little boot. Uh, I've never ridden a sport bike before. <laughs> She's a little cramped, but I'm gonna uh, gonna give her a, a good go here. Yeah, this doesn't feel too bad at all. It's uh, it's way small, and the feeding seating position or the foot position is a little little odd, but it's not uh, it's not too bad, I'll tell you. I think there's a 320 cc. Uh, I don't know where any of the gear or the signals are or anything. I'm just gonna get out of here. All right. Yeah, the steering feels. This is pretty fucking cool, man. It is neat. It's a neat little thing. It's a little bit vibey, but not too bad. It definitely revs up, uh, which would be expected for something like this. Um, I think he's got that. Oh, he's got that changer thing on it. Uh, the LED, uh, the LED rear. Trying to figure out where they get. Oh, she shifts nice and smooth, though. Wow. You, you barely. There's like no. Um, there's like no feedback on the on the gear shift. Just very very smooth. Wow, that's impressive. And for a 300, it goes pretty good. I'm I'm impressed. I'm really, it's really shocking how there is absolutely no feedback on the, um, on the gear, or the, the, the shifter. It's just, it's just, you raise your foot and there's, you just assume that it's in the gear. And, it, wow, that's crazy. Oh, it's got a little shift light on it. That's neat, man. Yeah, it's not so bad. She goes pretty good, man. I'm, uh, I'm actually digging this. It's just fun to ride, you know. It's 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 definitely a, a 300, but it's not. Uh, I wouldn't say it's underpowered. You could ride this around town all day and on the highway, and it's very very buzzy for for what it is. Um, that's just because I'm not used to it, but it is it is a little buzzy. I'll give it that. Oh, don't go off road. Actually, it's not so bad. Um, it loves to rev. Yeah, man, it gets up good, pretty good for 300. I'll tell you. I'm not. Uh, I'm not disappointed in that at all. You could ride that all day. That's not bad at all. Yeah. So my review is: it's uh, it's a small bike. Uh, it's got decent power for a 300. It's uh, the seating position is not horrible. I'm 6'4. It is a very small bike, uh, but it's not hard to ride. It's 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 actually not too bad. I would not be uh, I would not be upset if I owned it. If that makes any sense, I would I would ride it. <laughs> I just can't believe how there's no feedback on the uh, on the shifter. It's just you just lift your foot up. There's no click clack. It's very 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 smooth. Uh, that's one thing I notice right away. And and down there's a little bit of a feedback going down, a little bit of a click, but up, no no not a very very hard click at all. Just a, a nice smooth whoop 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 right into the where it needs to go. I I like it. I like this a lot actually. <laughs> You get used to something with a little bit more power, but you know, it, it puts a little smile on your face when you hear that those uh, those gerbils just running in there. I don't want to beat it up too much, but it's broken in. It's fine. It's got six thousand or almost five thousand clicks on it. Yeah, it's not bad at all, man. I have to tell you, the wind protection, you know keeps it you kind of hits you in the face but it's better than I thought it would be 
friction zones nice steering i find is a little heavy but that's probably due to the rake um it feels just you know a little bit different to my bikes it's probably because all the clip-ons and stuff i'm not used to it but it's not bad it, it it doesn't it doesn't fight you it just feels a little a little heavy i guess it would be the the word i would use but it's not bad at all um anyway yeah hope you guys liked that video and uh, until next time struck us out